You're watching No Spin. Tonight, amid a time when the Modi government and the BJP are talking up claims of the success of the government's economic policy, comes a googly from a top leader of the RSS, seen as the parent organization of the BJP. Speaking at an online seminar on Sunday, organized by the RSS affiliate Swadeshi Jagran Manj, the RSS General Secretary Dattatreya Hosobale took aim at a wide range of economic distress, from rising poverty, unemployment, and in income equality in the country. जो कई वर्षों से, कई दशकों से, शतकों से हमारे लिए एक राक्षसी रूप लेकर रा सामना के रूप में खड़े हैं, वो है देश के गरीबी। लगभग 20 करोड़ लोग गरीबी रेखा के नीचे जी रहे हैं, यह एक आंकड़े हमारे लिए बहुत दर्दनाक है। और एक आंकड़े मैं देख रहा था प्रतिदिन 375 रुपए से कम आए हैं ऐसे लोग हिंदुस्तान में 23 करोड़ 23 करोड़ पीपल आर हैविंग लेस देन 375 रुपीस इनकम पर डे लेबर फोर्स सर्वे के अभी-अभी के जो आंकड़े हैं उसके हिसाब से 7.6 अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट है ऐसे समझ में आता है दस साल पूर्व से स्थिति से आज हमारी स्थिति सच में अच्छी है लगभग 22 परसेंट लोग गरीब थे अब 18 परसेंट लोग गरीब हैं ऐसे आउरे का स्टैटिस्टिक्स हमारे सामने हैं आर्थिक तरक्की के एक आंकड़े जो मिलता है भारत दुनिया के टॉप मोस्ट सिक्स कंट्रीज में छह देशों में एक है ऐसे है तो परिस्थिति सर्वदूर ठीक है क्या ऐसे नहीं है टॉप वन परसेंट ऑफ़ द पापुलेशन इन इंडिया दे आर ओनली वन फिफ्थ ऑफ़ द दे आर हैव वन फिफ्थ ऑफ़ इनकम ऑफ़ आर कंट्री कई जगह पर सरकारों के अक्षमता के कारण भी गरीबी रहती है ऐसा संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ के अवलोकन है now while the rss leader didn't specifically name the modi government his comments do run counter to the government narrative the prime minister himself not that long ago in may said that international organizations are accepting poverty reduction in india the finance minister has said that the IMF and World Bank have projected India's growth to be the fastest for the next two years. She also spoken of how 70% of foreign portfolio investors who had left are back over the last two months. This was in August and October of this year. The government itself has talked up how GST collections over 1.4 lakh crore for the seven-month period. Now, so what's the reality? The RSS leader didn't cite sources for his data, but publicly available data does show that there does seem to be a paradox between the government claims of economic turnaround versus distress. World Bank data is pointing to the fact that poverty has come down in India. It's dropped by about 10 percentage points between 2011 and 2019. This was data as of April of this year. But inequality is sharpening. A recent report on inequality in India found similar to what the RSS leader was saying, that top 10% of Indians are earning more than 30% of the total income, and the top 1% is earning almost thrice as much as the bottom 10%, and that the top 1% is earning about 7% of the total income in the country. Again, with unemployment, the rates are dropping, but as indicated by Mr. Hosabale, still high. April to June 2021, it was about 12%. April to June of this year, it dropped to 7.6%, but that is still seen as a high number. This is the periodic labor force survey taken out by the government. The other paradox, which the, the leader referred to, India has become the fifth largest economy, but, and this is the but, India is the poorest member of the elite G20 club. India's per capita GDP is the lowest of all those 20 countries. All right. Uh
let's uh, go across before we go to panel let me go across to amit mitra who is uh, been the former uh, finance minister in West Bengal. He's the chief advisor, economic advisor uh, to uh, the finance, uh, to, the, to the chief minister of West Bengal. Thank you, uh, Dr. Mitra, for joining us. Yeah. Now, Thank when you. you were hearing those comments by the RSS leader, uh, these are the sort of comments and the critical comments made by the, the opposition. Uh, now you have someone, in a sense, who is part of the wider parivar making it. But the government hasn't spoken so far, by the way, they've not reacted to it. But were they to make the argument that, look, yes, there might be some chronic problems of poverty and whatnot, but overall there are several indicators, some of which I listed, which are indicating that things are actually turning around? I think very important in this is, of course, poverty, he said, and which is very significant, poverty is standing like a demon in front of us. Yes. And Last we need chest, to I think you would have said. Yeah. That's an indication of Durga Puja. Yeah. Uh, we are in the, on the Ashtami day today. Now, I would like to put something that perhaps your listeners do not know that it is the same uh, the, uh, the Tatraji who on 13th October 2015 hmm. said. I quote, we would, we would want the BJP to win all the state elections because only then can significant social, political and cultural changes take place in this country. And 2014 election, victory should be seen as the starting point of the long-term mission. Now, at that time, he was, of course, uh, a joint general secretary. Hmm. Uh, the second important information that your listeners may want to know there was a meeting, confidential meeting, in mid-July 2014, after Mr. Modi's victory, hmm. organized by Mr. Amit Shah, in which there were three people from RSS and three people from BGP. Hmm. It was for coordinating the, the, the coordination and supervising interaction between BJP and RSS. Hmm. Who were the people? One of the people was, of course, the Tatraji. Right. On the other side, there was Mr. Amit Shah, Rajnath Singh, Nitin Gadkari. Hmm. Now, what interesting in this is the same that the tragedy was masters in English literature, as you know, came from the uh, ABVP background with the Prachara. Today, he is really saying what Mamta Banerjee, TMC or any other opposition party. And I myself have been on your show giving these numbers and figures. Uh, the tragedy is saying the same thing as a critique of the performance of the Modi government at the grassroots level. So it is, he also said about income inequality, as you know, uh, the only 10% uh, uh, of Indian population holds 77% of national wealth. Right. So all these are facts that he's bringing out, which we from the opposition in a, in a, in a, have repeatedly said. But now, yes. what, what is interesting in this to me is, hmm. That Bhartiya Mastur Sang, which is the largest trade union in the country, affiliated to RSS, not mm. to BJP, is undertaking a one-year-long agitation against the labor bill that the Modi government has brought. Same way, Bhartiya Kisan Sang, which is the affiliated to RSS, which is the farmers' organization, is today in a corner because of the farmers' agitation. So it's but not Dr. only... Mitra. Yes. Please. Okay. No, no. Uh, so, so that... That point uh, by you is, is strongly made, but my question was that uh, what if the government's arguments, uh, as I said, they've not directly responded to what uh, Mr. Hosabale has said, but uh, yes. to the government's arguments that, look, uh, you know, World Bank has shown poverty has come down in India, uh, you know, uh, growth is on the up, uh, GST collections are, you know, at record levels, to that you would say what? What I would say is that, uh, look, poverty uh, during the uh, COVID, there was complete breakdown of the supply chain. And everything came down, not only in India, but rest of the world. The averages, naturally, from which you're calculating these percentages have a base effect. In other words, they, these numbers, yes, poverty will come down. But uh, because as development happens, poverty mm. will come down. But the key point that... Uh, that uh, the tragedy is making is inequality has gone up. We have said that. 
unemployment. I mean, you are talking about what numbers? He himself quoted 40 crores. That's uh, 40 million, rather 40 million unemployed. Does anybody bother? He did not mention the mm. informal sector, which is completely uh, ruined and mm. the supply chain has not been made. This is where India lies. 670 million people right. is who we are talking about, which he is saying. Okay. But let me go one step deeper. There is a, uh, he, there's obviously a critique, uh, a critique of the government in the sense that this, there's something going on here. Same man who had said BJP must win in every state. Today, he, has, he is correctly quoting figures of critique. My submission is when you put the whole picture together, okay. Bhartiya Mazdur Sang in disarray, Bhartiya uh, Kisan Sang in disarray, right. inequality increasing, and the finance minister whom you are showing on your screen herself few days ago said to the industrialists, why are you not investing? Hello? You don't know why they're not investing. There's no excess demand. You have cut corporate taxes significantly highest in the world, perhaps in one shot, 10%. Hmm. But they're not investing because there is no excess demand in the market for them to invest. And you're asking them. On one hand, you said you are doing very well. On the other hand, you are asking industries, hello, why aren't you investing? Right. So okay. overall confusion that I've painted to you within RSS, Right. And contradictions in the in the in the process. Don't forget, he also said there was there is no drinking water. Large parts of the country still does not have access yeah. to drinking water. Right. Whereas Mr. Modi is saying hundred million households already have drinking water. Right. He is saying inefficiency. So many contradictions. Okay. So many many contradictions there. But let's see uh, if at all the government chooses to respond or the party chooses to respond. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Dr. Mitra for joining us. Uh, let me go across now to panel. Uh, we have with us uh, Karuna Gopal, a leader BJP, National in Charge Policy and Research uh, for uh, BJP and uh, also Professor Apurva Javdekar, Assistant Professor of Finance, Indian School of Business uh, in Hyderabad and uh, Yogendra Yadav, of course, uh, you know, Swaraj India earlier, now <laughs> part of the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Uh, thank you all so much uh, for joining us. Let me just start uh, with you, uh, Karuna Gopal, as I said, that there's been no kind of formal response from the BJP or, or the government about Dattatreya Hosabale's remarks. But what do you make of that? Because on one hand, the government is saying that things are turning around, it's looking on the up. But he's listing a number of serious aspects of economic distress from inequality to poverty to, to, you know, to unemployment. And this is coming now from the RSS, not from you know, the opposition. So, uh, Mr. Srinivasan, um, Mr. Amit Mitra tried to uh, try to draw a parallel between uh, the opposition uh, and the RSS, saying that uh, RSS is saying something similar that the opposition is saying. So, I I really do not agree with that. The other thing is, he also implied that RSS is critiquing the government. So I would also like to negate that. Okay. Now let me let me place Why, the facts in How would you in front. negate that? Yes, yes, I will. I will negate it. Please give me time. Well, you would have heard of this whole concept of CRM in a cor in the corporate world, right? Customer relationship management. Now look at what is RSS. RSS is the big brother of BJP. Hmm. Now how does RSS work? RSS basically uh, declares the avowed purpose of RSS is nation building and it works very closely with the society. It has 60,000 shakas and more than 2 lakh uh, welfare but, schemes are being operated. Karuna, no, hear, hear me out. No, please hear me out. No, hear no me I out. think that's not the issue though. No, no, please hear me out. Now, these organizations, these uh, points are the touch points. So it gives feedback. It gives feedback to, to the government in how it is working, like just like a uh, CRM, uh, you know, system works in the government, in the in the corporate no, sector. But do you agree like, with what he no, said no, or not? No, please listen to this. So it is true. He he stated it. So why will I negate it? So he is giving a feedback to the government, saying that it is it's a feedback arm. Like uh, do you do you do you reject a CRM um, uh, protocol in your company? No, you pay attention to that because no, no. But he, that's the wider point. Okay, now yeah. you have to let me interject because hold on, hold on. Do you firstly do you agree because he's not necessarily citing some kind of. You know, this is not a kind of public opinion poll. He's citing data to suggest that poverty is a problem, 
job losses are a problem, rising inequality is a problem. He's citing data. Yes. Uh, do you agree with that? And if so, hold on. Do you, if you do, then isn't this an embarrassment for the government that the RSS itself is saying that the government has not done a good job of tackling all of this of economic distress? So again, you are saying the same thing. It is not an embarrassment. It is a feedback. How does the company respond when your uh, when your uh, CRM uh, you know customer relationship managers come come back and but tell you, you there is no, 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 product no, no, improvement but, is required? But doesn't this that contradict governance. the government's own claims? No, 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 no. Listen, we are in a state of constant improvement. Modi ji repeatedly says we are a dynamic, uh, you know, our governance is dynamic, our, com our country is evolving gradually, and he's putting in maximum efforts. So okay. if you give, one, uh, just look at what uh, RSS has done in the recent past. They have done a study in Uttar Pradesh. They understood that uh, in migration uh, into the cities is a major problem. Okay. And, uh, and so they okay, have not... report to Yogi Adityanath government only for improvement. So that is what they are doing. Okay, you are saying now this is constructive thing. feedback and, the, and, and that the economy, the governance is dynamic. That's an interesting take on a fairly specific critique of worsening economic distress. Yogendra Yadav, uh, do you buy this argument that this is just the RSS, you know, within a company as you get feedback from your other arms this is just giving feedback to the government that there may be a problem uh, first a minor correction <clears throat> vasu you said formerly of swaraj india no sir i'm very much with swaraj india oh, and okay. I, I walk in the bharat jodo <laughs> yatra right i walk with the badge of swaraj india with it okay anyway, why should point. i disagree with the the point that the bjp leader has just made i think it's a very wonderful point that she's made uh, she's saying this is customer relations management. We are getting customers feedback and she's acknowledging that the customer is in a very sorry state. So the customer relations management is telling the company, I like this vocabulary because I think that very much captures the way BJP is run. So who's the customer? Citizen of India is the customer and customer relations manager that is the RSS is telling the company boss that is Mr. Modi that the citizen of this country are in a very bad shape. I'm very happy that the BJP acknowledges it. I'm very happy that they have begun to see the truth. As a student of politics, I want to know, I would like to see why is it that this truth has suddenly dawned upon the RSS? Because after all, as you pointed out, Vasu, all this is from Government of India's own data. There's absolutely nothing that Mr. Hosbale has said, which is not lying on the table of the Prime Minister for the last 10 months, for the last 12 months, for the last two years. Uh, there could be two reasons. One, that... Uh, Suddenly, they have got uh, deeper insight into things and uh, suddenly they feel that they need to give feedback. Incidentally, feedbacks are not, not never given in public. Feedbacks, private company feedbacks are normally given privately. And I'm sure this feedback must have been given over the last two years again and again and again. Mm. Why is it that it's given public? I can offer you one hypothesis. I don't mm. have a way of proving it. The largest opposition party of this country is holding a yatra, which is less than one month old. Hmm. And every day in that yatra, hmm. the questions of poverty, unemployment, hmm. inflation and inequality are regularly spoken. If you don't believe me, just listen to wine and listen to the speeches given every okay. single day. Okay. Is it a coincidence that the largest opposition is raising these questions and suddenly the customer relations manager realizes that these are important. Okay, so that's people. one, right. I think something is some political truth right. is beginning to dawn upon it. And I would only hope that Mr. Hosbali would now go one step further and, re and say that not only do we have unemployment, but actually unemployment is worse than ever before. That inequality in the last two years has increased to the advantage of someone okay, called me... Mr. Gautam Adani in a way which is unprecedented. All right. I'm sure he would learn a few more things. A little more feedback would follow. Right, I'm very let... Okay. Before before I come to Apurva Javadekar, I just saw that uh, Karuna Gopal had a hand up. So I'm <laughs> going to give her a quick chance. Uh, Karuna Gopal, quick rebuttal. Especially to the point that, as Yogendra is saying, this is all publicly available data in the public domain. Why does it have to take some RSS leader to point out all of this to the government? 
Look, uh, <clears throat> first of all, he's not some RSS leader. He's a very key person. Uh, in fact, one of the okay. Uh, Why does it take a key RSS person. leader to point out to the uh, government? Uh, yeah, you must information understand. in the public domain. Yes. Yeah. So first of all, I don't like the analogy that I have given in terms of uh, CRM uh, to be uh, taken to that level where you call RSS, uh, you know, CRM wing of BJP. No, kindly don't do that. It was just an analogy. to explain what could what is happening now here i'd like to just i want you to focus on one thing srinivas and jain because everybody is listening to this in uh, um, the rss our goals are very lofty the goals are very lofty for instance we operate no no please listen to the, we operate ma'am ma'am we are all going off Antioleya. topic and time is short no, 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 i'll send no, no, a quick no, no, interjection no, no. i'm i'm just giving you one small thing the why was the government not cognizant of government data this is all government data that there is rising inequality that there is a jobs problem there is a poverty issue so what Why, makes you it was the government, government not is, cognizant of this of course the government is in the know of everything in fact the the uh, world leaders look at uh, recently a nobel laureate appraising india and its ext- uh, enormous okay. amount of resilience look at uh, look at imf okay data. you're saying the government was cognizant of it no uh, it uh, is professor javadekar we are working on it we are okay. working on it sir you're working on it okay Professor Javadekar, uh, make sense of this because, as I said, there does seem to be a paradox. India is breaching; it is becoming, you know, a fifth largest economy. It overtakes England, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. At the same time, you do have considerable markers of economic distress to the point where somebody uh, senior within the RSS itself has to red flag it. uh so i won't i won't comment uh, on the dynamics between bjp and iss and uh, sure. that aspect but let me let me focus on economic data so from unemployment rate of roughly 20% during pandemic or slightly higher than that we are back to 6.7% today cmi released its data yes which is four year low and so so i and and i think you only uh, showed one slide uh, before uh, the panel began that the poverty rate as per world bank data has come down below 10% now from 20% uh over last 10 years so i think i think india as a country there is there is no doubt that we are a developing nation there there are going to be problems in terms of poverty there are going to be problems in terms of structural unemployment and so on and so forth but the question is are we moving in the right direction and i think poverty is coming down drastically in india uh unemployment rate have come down to 6 6.5% again which is acceptable given that germany Uh, france okay uh, US, all of them yeah. are uh, growing in the unemployment rates Absolutely. so i think if you look at if you look at inequality numbers like inequality numbers in india are i won't say the i mean there is inequality there is no debate okay. about that it's just that it's still lower than us and uk okay and we need all right so, okay i need to uh, yeah i'll just get a quick response we also have a uh, Ashwini Mahajan of the Swadeshi Jagran Manch, the event uh, where Mr. Hosabal is spoke, he's joining us. But before that, uh, Yogendra was shaking his head. Quick uh, counter, Yogendra, and then we move on. Number one, in Gini index, it is absolutely false to say that India is more unequal than the UK. The fact is that India is now climbing up as one of the most unequal countries, and in the last eight years. the direction has been becoming more and more unequal in gini coefficient if my economist friend disagrees let him say it on national television okay. number 2 uh for all the positive figures that are being touted out i would request my economic friends to read an article by arvind subramanyam who was very much the economic advisor to their own government right. published 3 days ago which says in terms of vulnerability India is among the top 20 economies of the world India is placed 19th in terms of defending itself against vulnerable which is to say we are among the most okay. economically vulnerable yeah. countries so, in the world today. what right. the answer to that okay let me just that. go across uh, i i have to go i have to go across to dr ashwini mahajan uh, who is able to join us uh, ashwini mahajan uh, sahab aap hamare sath jude uske liye dhanyawad ye bataiye ki aap hi ke uh, event pe दत्तात्रेय जी ने ये बात कही कि राक्षस है गरीबी एक राक्षस की तरह है बेरोजगारी भी है एक बहुत बड़ा चुनौती तो इसको काफ़ी गंभीर तरीके से इसलिए माना जा रहा है क्योंकि ये आरएसएस के एक बड़े नेता कह रहे हैं तो इसका क्या हम मतलब निकालें कि अब मोदी सरकार के सात साल हो गए लेकिन तब भी 
ये सारी चीजें राक्षस की तरह एक खतरा है देखिए एक लंबे समय से हम देख रहे हैं पिछले कई दशकों से जो जो ग्रोथ का मॉडल हम लेकर के चले जो डेवलपमेंट का मॉडल हम लेकर के चले पिछले प्रधानमंत्री जी कहा करते थे कि ये जो है ये जॉबलेस ग्रोथ है तो जॉबलेस ग्रोथ को बड़े गौरव से खेते थे बड़े गर्व से खेते हमारा ये कहना है कि गरीबी बेरोजगारी भुखमरी ये सारे विषय इस देश में लंबे समय से चलते रहे जी। इस सरकार ने बहुत प्रयास भी किए हैं और चाहे वो स्टार्टअप की बात हो चाहे वो विकेंद्रित विकास की बात हो चाहे वो माइक्रो फाइनेंस की बात हो चाहे वो मुद्रा लोन की बात हो फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन की बात हो ऐसे बहुत सारे प्रयास भी हुए जी ऋषि जागन मंच ने जिस कार्यक्रम में आदरणीय दत्ता जी उसमें उपस्थित थे जी। उस कार्यक्रम में का जो मूल हेतु था वो यही है कि हम लोगों ने स्वदेशी जागरण मंच और बहुत से और संगठनों ने मिलकर ये तय किया है कि ये जो राक्षस है बेरोजगारी गरीबी का इसको इसको समाधान अगर खोजना है तो उसके लिए जरूरी है कि हम समाज को साथ में लेकर ऐसे नहीं जहां तक सरकार का एक सेकेंड अश्विनी जी नहीं समाज तो ठीक है नहीं नहीं बट समाज बात कर लू नहीं नहीं तो मेरा एक संदर्भ भी ध्यान में आ जाएगा और आपके आपका सहयोग भी मैं अपेक्षित चाहूँ नहीं नहीं मैं एक एक सवाल तो पूछने दीजिए क्योंकि आप इतने फाइनली आपके साथ हम जुड़ पाए कि आप कह रहे हैं कि ये कई दशकों से ऐसा चलता आ रहा है ये प्रॉब्लम जॉबलेस ग्रोथ और बाकी सब तो जो आप कह रहे हैं जो इस सरकार ने जो कदम वगैरह उठाए द फैक्ट कि अभी भी दत्तरत्रे जी इन सब चीजों को रख रहे हैं सामने कि एक राक्षस है गरीबी एक राक्षस है ये सारी चीजें राक्षस है इसका मतलब क्या हम ये मान के चले कि कहीं ना कहीं सरकार इन राक्षसों को वो नहीं कर खत्म नहीं कर पाई देखिए इसको इसको आप किसी भी तरीके से पेश कर दीजिए उसमें कोई अंतर नहीं पड़ता है मेरा ये कहना है कि स्वदेशी जागर मंच एक लंबे समय से ये बात इस बात को कहता रहा है और इस बात को आगे बढ़ाता रहा है कि इस देश में से बेरोजगारी दूर करने के लिए हमें अपने ग्रोथ और डेवलपमेंट के मॉडल को बदलना पड़ेगा हमें इस बात से बाहर आना पड़ेगा कि जीडीपी ग्रोथ ही सब कुछ नहीं है मान के चल रहे पॉवर्टी और जॉबलेस नहीं नहीं बट ये नहीं मैं यही समझ रहा हूँ की एस मानती है की अभी भी पॉवर्टी बेरोजगारी वगैरह ये काफी बड़ी चुनौती है चुनौती है और इसका समाधान जो है वो वो जॉब जॉब सीकर्स बहुत हो गए हम यानी बहुत युवाओं को जॉब जॉब चाहिए तो स्वाभाविक है एक 500 जॉब्स होती हैं तो कितने लाख लोग उसके लिए अप्लाई करते हैं उसके लिए भागदौड़ करते हैं हमारा ये कहना है कि इस देश में इस ये देश की एक 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 रहा है हमेशा प्लस तो, एक यूएसपी है इस देश का तो सरकार तो यहाँ कम पड़ गई इसमें सरकार इसको इसको काबू लेने में कहा कमी आपको नजर आ रही है नहीं नहीं कमी कमी की बात ये ये नहीं कह रहे हैं हमारा कहना है कि हमारी यूएसपी है कि हम एंटरप्रेन्योर्स बन सकते हैं जी वी हैव टू वी हैव टू इनकलकेट स्पिरिट ऑफ एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप एंड फॉर दैट सोसाइटी हैज टू वर्क टूगेदर एंड गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट विल हैव देयर स्कीम्स बट इट इज द सोसाइटी which can which can help our okay. youth and how can we how can we make our 37 crore youth uh, working and that's the way that's that the is the way, way. okay so that is a challenge can, right yeah, we can we can increase our gdp also and at the same time provide employment to all so, okay that so is that is the, the those are the required. steps required जॉब सीकर